In a rare observance on Thursday, the casket of a Connecticut man who died in the 1700s was allowed to lie in state in the rotunda of the state capitol. The man known as Fortune was the slave of a Waterbury doctor who used him as a medical specimen after his death. Most recently, his bones had been on display at the Mattatuck Museum in Waterbury. I felt it was so appropriate for us as a society to make up for this, for what happened to him and what happened to slaves throughout this country in the North and the South, to make up for it by allowing his body to lay for a few hours here in the legislative building, in the Capitol Rotunda, where many governors and military leaders have laid in the past. This is the public square right here. We're all paying for this building, and Mr. Fortune is laying here in state, in repose. And let us allow this to be the teachable moment for all of us, for all of our children, from anyone from the age of one to 99 plus. Let this be a teachable moment to learn that yes, Connecticut, the North, did have slaves. Yes, Connecticut, the North, did have slaves that were not treated appropriately. If you don't know the history, this is the opportunity to learn the history, and a lot of people will be learning the history today. The museum has been the steward of Mr. Fortune for more than 80 years. But about 20 years ago, our eyes were opened by the local chapter of the NAACP that we should begin to look at Mr. Fortune as a human. And through the last 20 years, we've worked in partnership with the African American History Project to do that. This day is the final chapter in that recognition. On behalf of the governor and myself, um, we know that the state is welcoming him now. And he's been welcoming him in a different way, even though he's been here all this time, we're now welcoming him as a human being. So I just want to say, it's important I do believe that you're listening to us, that um, you are somebody that will not be forgotten. You might have been just forgotten before, but you will not be forgotten now. Following the honor of lying in state on Thursday, Mr. Fortune was given a proper burial in Waterbury. Mm -hmm.